Hey guys, away. welcome, welcome this Monday morning. Can you believe it? The weekend's already over. All you need is a flat surface to sit on, a chair, a couch, anything like that, a couple of water bottles, soup cans, gallon jugs if you're feeling strong, or weights. If you have those at home, go for it. Take a break whenever you need to. Make sure you have a water bottle nearby. I'm going to go get mine. Take a drink to stay hydrated. It's so important to always have a drink nearby. We're going to do some balance. We're going to do some range of motion. Um, we're going to work our brains a little bit. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff. A lot of leg work today. So if you need to do any of this sitting down, please do. And we'll get started. Okay, I'm going to start with the march. Got to get on the right beat. March, 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 march. Four, three, two, give me some kickbacks. Four, three, two, now knee lifts. Just a light warm up to get juice in the joints. Give me some heel digs. Four, three, two, now kicks. Four more. Four, three, two, and march. March. Now give me some big shoulder rolls. Open that chest up. Give me four more. Four, three, two, one, and march. All right, going to warm our arms up a little bit. Up and down, out and back. So up and down, out and back. Up and down, out and back. Up, down, out. One more. Now march it. Pump those arms. Raise those knees a little higher. As you get warmer, you'll be able to make your movements bigger. So raise those knees a little higher. Four, three, two. Kick back. Add some arm work in there. Or you can do this. Four more. Heel digs. Heel. Heel. Give me some curls. Four. Three. Two. March it out. March it out. Knee lifts. Four, three, two, march it out, march, march, march. Okay, we're going to reach in four, three, two, and reach, reach, reach. Knee raise, 
punch, knee raise, punch, knee raise, punch, knee raise, punch. Just tap that toe to the back. Okay, same arm that punches forward, the same leg, taps back. Last one. Okay, march it out. We're going to switch sides. So whatever knee you lift, lifted last time, lift the other one and punch the opposite arm with the tap back. Okay, knee, tap, knee, tap. Tap. Four. Three. Woo. Two. One. March it out. March it out. Okay. We're going to do some more brain work. You're switching legs each time you do this. This time instead of do all on one side and all on the other. Okay, you're doing a knee, a knee, heel tap knee. This is what it looks like. Knee, knee, heel tap knee. Now switch. Knee, knee. Heel, tap, knee, 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 heel, tap, knee, 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 heel, tap, knee. Say in your head if it helps. Knee, heel, tap, knee, 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 heel, tap, knee, 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 heel, tap, knee. Keep going. One more on the other side. Heel, tap, knee. March it out. Anytime you raise that knee, all right, you're engaging your lower ab muscles. See, everything that you do, I want you to engage that core, okay? I don't want you to suck in like you're holding your breath. I want you to tighten it up like someone's going to punch you in the belt, all right? Just always keep ready in everything you do. That way you use your back less, use your lower abs more. It's always a good thing. Okay, we're gonna go back with that knee raise with an opposite punch. Arms in five position. Knee, punch. Yeah, works the quads too. Four more.
So bend your knees, pick up your weights, or have a seat and pick them up. Do what's right for you, all right? So it's a hammer curl, and then we're gonna add a press up while we hold that leg in that position, and then we're gonna bring both of them down. If it's too much for you, just do the arm work, have a seat, all right? You can do this without a weight. You're still working on your range of motion and your strength and your joint mobility. All right, the key here is if you can take that hand off of that chair, go right ahead. All right, I'm gonna try it. So curl, up, and down. Okay. Curl, you're using your obliques, okay, to keep you straight, instead of going like this, all right, using your obliques. And you're using your quad, make sure you don't lock the knee you're standing on. See if you can give me four more. This one's not easy. You're basically doing an isometric hold with the leg you're standing on. It builds endurance. It burns calories. Ooh, I'm getting a little shaky. That's good. It means I'm working some muscles I normally don't work. March it out. Other side. Okay. Once again, you've always got that chair there for stability. Use it anytime you need it. If you're doing a hammer curl with a hamstring curl, I call it a double hammy. Just because I like ham. Here we go. All right. Oops. One side will be better than the other. I'm sorry, one side is not better than the other. One side will have balance more than the other. If for any reason you cannot put your arms over your head, all right, just do this, do two hammer curls. While we're pressing up, do two hammer curls. You can do this without weights, okay? If you can still move your hands over your head and you just can't do it with weights, do it without weights. Watch it out. Shoo, shake out that calf if you need to. There's those calves out, they're doing a lot of work. Stretch. very long. These are so fun. Huh. Anyway, weights are optional. Okay. If you want a little extra up, grab those weights or water bottles. Okay. Chest is proud. Core is engaged. Once again, working on endurance. This is going to work our glutes and our quads. I'd like to tell you what you're working on. So important. All right. Hold weights however you like. If you like to hold them here, hold them here. If you like to hold them here, hold them here. I like them in front, so that's where I'm gonna keep them. All right, legs about hip width distance apart. You're gonna come up halfway, okay? And then all the way up, come down halfway, and then all the way down, okay? Here we go, halfway, up and squeeze, halfway, and down. Halfway. And down. Now try not to use your momentum. Try not to rock yourself up. Just head press through those heels. We're doing it slow because we're going to take the momentum out of it. Why do I say we always go slow? Because you use more muscle when you go slow. It's harder. Isn't that crazy? But it's true. Halfway. Oh, there's that burn. A little break. Halfway. A little burn. And down. Halfway. 
up and squeeze. See if you can give me one more after this. And rest. Phew. Gonna stand back up again, going back to those hamstring curls with the hammer curl, and then the shoulder press up by your ear. One weight. All right. So with or without the hamstring, it's completely up to you. Balance. Remember, just do a hammer curl if you can also press that arm up above that head. One more. All right, stretch that calf. Switch sides. All right, hammer curl. Good stability. one more. One more. Break, roll 
low shoulders. Get your heart rate up just a little bit. That's what we're looking for. We want to go to abs before we go back to those. It's a side bend with an opposite knee raise. Don't fall out of your chair because I almost do. All right? Because the side that you're bending, you're raising the opposite knee. It's working those obliques. So core is engaged. If you need to scoot back further in your chair, feel more stable, go for it. Here we go. Okay. It's not a huge movement, okay? Four, three, two, one. Put the arms up here, okay? A little crunch, okay? So you're basically leaning to the side and raising the knee. Obliques. Once again, if you could all raise those arms over that head, this is your option. Or this. You got the option, go for it. March it out. All right, back to those seated jacks. So, jack. Give me eight more, guys. We can do it. All right. Seated side bends. Knee. This works our balance too. Cross, cross, 
and in back. So this works the front of your abs. When you cross punch, you're working your obliques. So up. Let's add some weights to it. Or water bottles. Okay? Right here. I think this is better. We're going to just do sit ups right now, and then we're going to go back to those cross punches. Up. That's one option. Okay. This is another option. Just regular sit ups is all we're doing. Feet are flat on the floor. To make it a little easier, heels to the floor, toes to the ceiling. I don't know why, but it does. It's a little easier. I just really wanted to focus on those abs, those lower abs a little bit more. Eight. Chest is proud, core is tight. Blow out on the hard part. Exhale. Inhale. Four. Three, two, one. Back to those jump ropes. Jump, 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 jump. Come on, do it. Hang in there. Back is straight. You need to scoot back further in the chair like I did. Go for it. Hang in there. We're working our arms too, I promise. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Scoot further up in your chair if you want to make it harder. Fighter position. Cross. Cross. And back. So up. Cross punch. Cross punch. And back. Up. Cross punch. Cross punch. Up. Cross punch. And back. Up. Your chest is proud, core is engaged. Doing more of these this time since we've got that range of motion going, that muscle memory. Got four more. And rest. Phew. Regular sit ups. Cross your arms here. You can hold weights. Completely up to you. I'm just going to cross my arms. Give me 10. Look 
at it when it's up, we look at it when it's down.
And if I didn't already say it, thank you for working out with me this Monday. I love my Mondays with you guys. One more on each side. Knee, knee, heel, tap, knee. March it out. March it out. March it out. Woo-wee. Roll those shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to stretch now. Now, if you want to do this on your chair, that is wonderful. That is fine. If not, stay standing with me. Okay, we're going to do a calf stretch. Always rest on the knee that you're using for support, okay? Never like this. And then I want you to stretch that calf. Deep, dynamic breathing. Inhale. Exhale. When it gets hard, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Whew. Now switch. Oh, there it is. We use that cap a lot and those quads a lot today for stability. You're going to listen to your hamstring also. In your favor, roll that chest. Again, bring your arm across. You can hold it here or here, but never hold it on the joint. See you next time.